And so, hey, man, we're going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep it going. But, you know, that that segues into something that I, I didn't plan on talking about, but I want to talk about. And that's being able to make adjustments in life. You know, uh, man, that's one of the reasons I love boxing so much. And that's one of the reasons I love sports in general so much. Because you get to see how people react under pressure. And and I look at things from a technical uh, viewpoint. You know, I do like the razzle and dazzle, you know, uh, but I like the technical side of life and the technical side of boxing and, and sports in general. And so, uh, you know, that's why I'm a big supporter of uh, Floyd Mayweather, man, inside the ring. And, and so, you know, I've been watching boxing for a while. And I've never seen a boxer make in fight, in the middle of the fight, adjustments like Floyd Mayweather. And that just goes to show you his intelligence, his IQ inside the ring, his ring generalship, uh, yeah, his mastery inside the ring, his emotional intelligence. Man, I saw one time he was uh, fighting Zab Judah, and Zab was getting, you know, getting the, 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 the worst end of the fight at some point. And so he hit Floyd with a low blow, hit him in the midst, uh, I want to say the midsection, the private parts. And uh, Floyd's uncle uh, jumped inside the ring, you know, uh, rest in peace. He jumped inside the ring. His trainer jumped inside the ring. A bunch of people jumped inside the ring from his side and Zab Judah's side. And Zab, who is the guy boxing Floyd, starts to fight uh, his uncle, you know, and uh, and it was a, just a big, you know, huge mayhem. The whole time, Floyd backed up into the corner, calm, and just waited till things settled down. And this is in the middle of the fight. Everybody's going at it. Man, that's emotional intelligence. I've seen Floyd losing fights, make adjustments, come out on top. Of course, you know, he's undefeated. But, man, that's why I like boxing so much, man, because it's comparable to life. And, and so, uh, man, you got to be able to make adjustments. You know, Mike Tyson said, everybody has a plan until they get hit in the mouth. And man, that's so true. Everybody has a plan of what they're going to do, how things are going to turn out, uh, you know, what they're going to, their steps. Everybody has a plan until it doesn't go right. And how well do you adjust to that? It's going to show your maturity and your emotional intelligence. And it's going to depict or, 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 or kind of give you an idea how far you're going to go in life, how well you adjust to life. And so, man, you got to be able to make in-game adjustments, man. I've seen coaches on the professional level get a lot of praise because they have a lot of W's and very little L's. But then when things don't go right, when a player gets hurt, or a player is not performing at top peak, they're lost. I like coaches who can adjust in the middle of the game and come out with that W, man. That, that just shows a lot about a person. It shows a lot about a person in their profession and in life, man. You got to be able to move and groove, go with the flow, and, and adapt, adjust, and, and keep it moving, man. Keep it moving, man, because you still got the mission. You still got the purpose, regardless of what happens.